Hello, I got myself a new tent. Mainly to replace my Hillbrook Acto and military stuff when I go hiking in a camping site or in a music festival or in a similar place where I can go by my car or walk a short distance from a bus stop or train station or whatever. And I got myself a one person rich tent for Dutch Army surplus. Now this comes in two different colors, the traditional DBM and in this uh, desert camouflage pattern. And as you can see this pattern was probably used in the late 80s or in the early 90s. So these are probably quite old stock, I would say, I mean like 20-25 years old. Um, it seems that the DBM camouflage one are, uh, is really hard to find them in a in you know, unused condition, they are usually used. Some of them are in a really bad condition. Of course, some of them are quite nice, but I don't really want to risk it because this is a canvas tent. I want it to have it in a really good condition. So these desert camouflage ones are usually unused or with li really little use. So I got this for that purpose. Of course, there's some like 130 euros with postage. I got this from eBay uh, from a German salesman, and it was completely un unused. Um, it is, as you can see, it's massive even though it's a one-man tent because it's made out of cotton and of course cotton takes a little bit more room than a normal nylon tent. So yeah, and if you are saying that, yeah, but paying 130 euros for a tent that for camping, why didn't you just get a cheap tent for 30 euros? Well, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's my channel. I do, I do what I want and it's my money. So yeah, anyhow. Weighs six or seven kilos. Yeah. So, components that come with it is the storage pouch with a carrying handle. It comes with the tent pegs. Comes with two uh, powder coated steel uh, poles and of course the tent. Now, it like I said, it weighs something like six or seven kilos and uh, main. Of course, it's made out of cotton, so even if it's dry, it is quite heavy. But also, the other components are quite heavy as well. Now, especially these tent poles, they are made out of steel, weigh 450 grams. So if you would spend a couple of, maybe 40, 50 euros for a tent specs from Hillerberg or Fjell Raven, you would get an aluminum set for that would weigh something like maybe 100 grams. The steel poles in total will weigh something like 1080 grams. So spending a little bit money in a local army surplus store you would easily have aluminum tent poles that would weigh something like maybe uh, maybe 400 grams. So or you could easily go to a local plumbing shop and get some aluminum pipes, fiddle around and you would have replacement parts uh, for a little, very little money. So you could easily get one kilo out of the total weight. Now, of course, because this is this is massive, like this is something like 65 centimeters wide, maybe 25 in diameter. So you, you don't really want to go hiking or trekking with this one if you will have to carry this around. So this is basically your base camp or camping site tent. And I'm planning on using it in this kind of environment. So the dimensions when you have set it up is something like 240 centimeters wide, uh, 90 centimeters wide, and 150 centimeters tall. So uh, it's a one man tent. You can easily get your stuff in there. Of course, in an emergency situation, you could have two people sleeping there. Uh, not really recommended for maybe a longer period of time. This is a one man tent, man. Yeah. Uh, well, easy to set up actually. It takes something like five or six minutes for one person to set it up. I've done it once and well quite easy. Of course if you have a friend to help you it is a little bit faster. And well that's about that. Uh, the, well some other uh, features you have four doors and you can roll them up and have them completely open to get a good ventilation. Of course, there isn't any kind of mosquito nets. So if you want to be protected from bugs, uh, maybe you should keep the doors open or closed because there are four little ventilation windows with mosquito net. Of course, it's made out of 
cotton so if you want to modify it and you want to have a mosquito net you can easily do that so it's not that hard if you know how to sew or you know someone who can do that just so get mosquito net and start doing modifications if I remember it correctly there might be one little pouch where you can store your stuff so, so that's about it what comes to the insides the lower part is made out of really really thick heavy I believe it's vinyl or some similar material so the lower part is waterproof uh, yeah now this is the canvas tent so the waterproof uh, features are quite limited you have to have it set up quite tight because if it's saggy it will start leaking because the water doesn't just fall off it easily and as it is cotton you have to pay attention on how to treat it correctly now i have set it up and tested it with water so the water repellency and water tightness in this one is in very good con in very good shape of course if you get a second hand and use one uh, you might want to spend 50 euros for conditioning liquids and actually treating cotton is quite simple uh, but that's probably a video for other video or idea for other video I'm not really starting to explain it here but anyhow it's not that hard with the liquids and treatment agents what you have to use are quite expensive uh, what I'll probably do is when it starts to rain, I will have an ultralight top over this. And now some people might say, "What? Why would you have a tent if you if you have to use a top over it?" Well, basically, the main idea of the tent is that it's what it retains heat, keeps box away, gives you privacy. All those things that a normal top can do. So having a top over a tent is an old trick, and it works, and especially it's quite cost effective because well spending a couple of maybe 10 euros for ultra light top to get the water tightness in a good level uh, is a viable option especially if you are moving around with your car so who gives a crap if you have a top over your tent no one gives a, gives a crap so yeah and also it's cotton if you get it wet it will start weighing a heck of a lot more so you don't necessarily want to get these any extra weight than you actually need to um, so I, like i said i have set up this one i haven't really slept a single night in this one yet so uh, maybe i'll make uh, some kind of follow-up video and how this works of course i have spent quite a lot of time and nights in uh, cotton tents as finnish military is mainly using cotton tents and some older hiking tents when I was younger but yeah I might do a follow-up video so this was basically just a video to show basic materials and dimensions and weight and a little little, little details about this so yeah I, I hope this is helpful if someone is basically considering this kind of tent and they are not really um, haven't seen how to design in real life so bye